Hi, Aries. Welcome to your December 2015 monthly horoscope. A few quick announcements. Uh, Tis the season for gift giving as we approach the holidays, the upcoming holiday season. So if you are shopping for a special and unique gift for a friend or a loved one in your life, I am now offering gift certificates that are available through Life, Love, and Tarot. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can email me. Just find the link below this video. Um, also, I have uh, put up a free ebook for you to download over on my website. You can find that by going to the link again below this video in the box. The ebook is a quick little read. It's a nice little reference. It's free, totally free. You can download it, save it to your desktop, read it at your leisure. It's basically, you know, just a, a good little read to kind of gear you up to 2016. It's, you know, personal development and, and you know, th new thought structures and paradigms and just kind of inspirational. So, I've really enjoyed reading it myself, um, and I just thought in the spirit of the season, that would be a nice way to give back to my loyal viewers. And um, again, it's totally free. Just pop in your information, click the button, and it will be sent to you. Also, if you're not on Facebook with us, please come on over to Facebook and join us there. I would love to have you. We are using new decks this, uh, this month, so... Uh, I'm using the Morgan Greer tarot deck to do your reading. This is an oldie but goodie, a, a classic deck, um, but I love it, love it, love it, love it. Love the uh, the artwork of it. Um, it's very, as you can see, it's very vibrant and um, just, you know, just uh, the imagery just pulls me in. So we're using that for tarot. Uh, I do have the runes still for your spiritual messages, your angel messages, we are using the Angel Therapy Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. There you go. So that is where your angel messages are going to be coming from. This is a lovely deck. I really think you're going to enjoy this as we move through December and you get to see the different cards. And of course, I am still using the Witchlings deck this month because Leanne just loves this deck. I've said that in every video, loves this deck. Why wouldn't I use it? They're so adorable. How can you not love the Witchlings? All right, so I think that that does it for all of the announcements. Let's get started with your reading. Aries, for the month of December, we start the, um, the month off for you with the Hermit card upright and that's interesting because there was another sign that got this card as well so you know basically the the, the hermit is all about searching within contemplation and meditation you're going to be taking a time out to uh to really reevaluate your life or different aspects of your life that maybe you're not happy with you're not satisfied you're not fulfilled you might really be taking some time alone spending time alone at home, taking a holiday, taking a weekend and going off in the woods somewhere in a log cabin with a fireplace in your notebook and just spending some quiet time. Getting away from the hustle and the bustle of society, the rat race every day, the cell phone ringing, the emails dinging, um, you know, and just the expectations and the hoops you have to jump through. So, so some of you might be doing that. Others of you might just be retreating uh, you're still functioning every day in society and going to work and dealing with people, but you're just not talking as much because you're kind of, you know, spending the time that you do have to yourself just to search within. So this is definitely talking about taking some time to meditate, to search within, to go down to the depths of your soul, the foundations of who you are, and really figuring out for yourself you know, what you want, what you don't want, what you're happy with, what you're not happy with. Um, people that, that are no longer good for you, you know, relationships that you want to get rid of. You're really taking stock and taking inventory of your life. And you're going to be thinking ahead to 2016, what kind of year you want to have moving forward and what kind of life you want to develop for yourself. So the first rune we have for you immediately following the Hermit card is Jera. Now this is the Harvest and Fertile Season rune. Now this is not the rune of fertility, but because it is a Harvest and Fertile Season, I always throw that out there. Just as a precaution, if you are in the market to have a baby, now would be a good time to try. If you're not in the market to have a baby, take precautions or just, um, you know, don't uh, engage if you know what I'm saying. So that is thrown out there. But as far as, you know, the harvest and the fertile season, um, you know, the harvest is, you know, um, you know, bearing the fruits of your labor. The fertile season is, is reaping the rewards, you know, um, uh, reaping everything that you've sown or 
you get what I'm trying to say. I've, I've done a lot of videos today, so my brain is turning a little bit to mush. But, you know, th this is basically the rune of beneficial outcomes, okay? But the, the con, the, not the consequence, the message with this rune is beneficial outcomes, but you must do the work. It's not like it's just going to fall into your lap. So uh, whatever it is that you're working on or working through, whether this is professional or personal life, this could be a problem in a relationship. This could be just starting a new project at work. This could be um, planning a big party or a wedding or, you know, a big event, a milestone in your life. You know, you got You still have to do the work. You got to plan the party. You know what I mean? Do all the research. Uh, find the theme that you want. Find the decorators or the cooks or, or the caterer. See what I'm trying to say? If it's a wedding, you got the dress, you got the venue, you got the flowers, you got the invitations. So you're still doing the work. If this is a problem in a relationship, this is working it out with the other person. Maybe going to counseling or sitting down and talking about it. You're, you're, go, you're doing the work. You're not just glossing over it and keeping it on the surface. Projects at work, well, obviously you're going to be doing the work. You know what I mean? So beneficial outcomes, this is basically saying no matter what it is that you're working on right now, uh, whatever facet of your life, this will work out in your favor. You will be pleased with the results. Um, but as long as you stick to it and you're diligent and you do the work that, um, that is required of you in order to, you know, to basically get that outcome. Now, the next card we have is the lover's card upright. Lovey-dovey. Very beautiful, right? Sensual. Um, puts your mind in the gutter. <laughs> which my mind goes there quite often. But anyway, so the lover's card, okay, th there's a couple different meanings to this one. You know, this, this talks about making a choice. Choice, union, um, sharing, obviously, sharing with another person or sharing um, in some other way. This is talking about trust, trusting somebody, attraction, romance, sex, passion, sensual nature, etc. You get the idea. So this can be, I mean, obviously, the typical meaning about this is the lover's card. So some of you might be meeting somebody. You might be meeting a new lover, a new um, somebody new to date. You might be meeting the love of your life, your future husband or wife, the, the, the father or mother of your children. Some of you, this could just be simply having an affair, you know, a delicious, passionate, sensual love affair with somebody. And it doesn't mean an affair, so to speak, of cheating. This could just be literally an affair. Two single people who are coming together and having a whimsical relationship that maybe it's not meant to last long term, but they're going to learn some other lesson from whatever this juicy affair is. You see what I mean? So this could be that. Now, outside of romance and meeting somebody new, this can be simply just making a choice in your life because this does talk about choice. Making a choice between this or that. Apply that to your life. Um, as far as union, okay, this could be union, obviously, in a relationship, but this could be union in other ways. Union in a business partnership, union in a new career path, you know, accepting a job somewhere. So, you know, developing a union with a new employer or a new company. This could be a partnership on a creative project or endeavor. A partnership with having a child of your own because now you are definitely bonded with a lifelong partnership there. So making a choice, um, partnership, trust, attraction. This could be attraction to a creative endeavor, attraction to a significant other, attraction to a group of people or a group of friends, attraction to a new hobby. Maybe you're joining a hiking group. You don't know anybody, but you're going to be meeting them and it's going to be like your new place to like, you know, your new playground. So again, this could be um, really talking about it, really any facet. Again, the typical meaning is romance and love and sex and all the good juicy stuff. But you get what I'm trying to say. Now, the interesting thing is, is that it's right next to this rune that talks about beneficial outcomes, but having to do the work. So for some of you, this could be relationship troubles that you are working out. You get what I'm saying? This could be um, maybe your relationship is great, but the sex isn't that great. So you guys are coming up with new ways to spice it up. You see what I mean? Uh, business partnership, 
maybe going south or maybe there's miscommunication. So you guys are going to be working at improving the communication in order to improve the business. So do you see how this, I mean, I keep saying that. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Yeah, you see what I mean. So figure out how this works in your own life. I can give you, you know, examples ad nauseum and we'd be here all day. But I think that you guys are intelligent enough to put the two and two together. Now also too, the interesting thing is, you have the lover's card right after the hermit. So some of you are definitely going to be taking time to go within and think about whatever choices you have to make over here. You're trying to decide about different different areas of your life, especially going into 2016. So da-da-da, choice, 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 choices. All right, moving on. The next rune we have for you is Feihu, and this is basically, you know, personal possessions, materialism, uh, abundance, and... Um, um, prosperity coming into your life. So this does typically talk about money, money and personal possessions, inheritances, increase in salary, return on investments, etc. So that's very good news. This can also be abundance and prosperity coming to you in other ways in your life. Spiritual abundance and prosperity, abundance and prosperity in health. You might have a health situation that you've been struggling with for a long time and you're now finally healing from it, regaining your health back and now you are prosperous and abundant in um, renewed health. This could be renewed clarity, renewed spirituality, um, a, a stronger bond with your, your your spiritual side, the God of your understanding, your higher power, your angels, your spirit guides. So it could be abundant and prosperous in that way. Um, abundant and prosperous in, you know, family setting, maybe gaining new family members, you know, uh, um, through a, a marriage with stepchildren or having children of your own. You get what I'm trying to say. So... The thing about Feihu, though, that the warning is, is that, especially because this does talk about money, personal possessions, so the warning with this one is, do not define your success in society based on money and success, basically, based on everything that you own. If you're one of those people who was always trying to keep up with the Joneses, you know, who has the bigger car, the bigger house, the shinier car, more money in the bank? Who is affording expensive things for their kids, private schools, um, five family vacations a year, etc.? And you're flaunting it and flaunting it and flaunting it. You see what I mean? And that's what Fehu says. Don't base your success and the image of your life based on your material gain and the money that you have and being flashy about it because you can't take any of that shit with you when you die, right? That's not what is important in this life while having those things is certainly very nice and I will not argue with that. Um, you know, we're here to learn things, you know what I mean? And whatever your soul pur your soul purpose is, your path is, what whatever you're supposed to be giving back to humanity um, and, you know, working for the greater and highest good of yourself as well as other people in your life, um, and, and giving back to humanity and helping to raise the vibration of humanity, raise the vibration of your community, raise the vibration of people around you. So what is it that you're giving back? And also, if you're coming from a place of attitude of gratitude, uh, more you know, abund abundance and prosperity will flow into your life, especially if you're operating from your heart. But when we are greedy, okay, and we're coming from a place of greed, we're chasing the almighty dollar, we're in the rat race, and we're constantly competitive with everybody, that's when abundance and prosperity starts to stop flowing to you uh, because you're focusing on the wrong thing. So that's just what Fehu is warning you about. Especially during the holiday season, you're going to run into a lot of greedy assholes out there shopping. I mean, God, just like look at... Look at the Black Friday videos right after Thanksgiving. Go on YouTube and look at that. The millions of views that, that were, were, were uh, shown from videos of people fighting each other in Walmart over stuff that was on sale. It is so incredibly ridiculous. And it shows you lower level vibrational energy and people focusing on the wrong things in life. So that's just the warning with this. Allow the abundance and prosperity to come into your life. Certainly be grateful for it and enjoy it, but don't let it define you, define your success and, you know, be the, the sole status symbol of, of who you are in your community. Now, the only upsetting card here is that the next one we have is the devil uh, upright, okay? So the devil card upright is all about being stuck in bondage, Um 
bondage, a self-imposed prison, personal limitations, um, you know, just old, uh, old paradigms and thought structures that are negative or holding you down, pessimism, negativity, dependency. So something is going on here for you, Aries, where you are feeling stuck in bondage or you are just, you know, held to something. Whether this is a relationship, a situation, or a circumstance outside of yourself, others of you, this could be you're stuck in bondage deep within yourself because of limiting beliefs or self-imposed prisons or you're doubting your abilities or you don't have enough confidence. So again, this could be bondage relating to something outside of you, a situation or circumstance that you're stuck in or bondage deep within you that you are holding yourself back because there's something deep within you that you're not recognizing, you're not dealing with, you're not bringing up to the surface, you're not healing, and you're not moving on from it. Um, and it's interesting that this is right next to Fehu, okay? So definitely do not let money and materialism rule your life and or, um, uh, you know, be the basis of your status and who you are. Don't, don't be, you know, this is saying that you, you could be stuck in bondage to the almighty dollar. You might be stuck in bondage to a high paying job that you're really not satisfied in or fulfilled in, but you stay because the money is just that good, but you're just not that happy. You see what I mean? So this is just a warning that, you know, take, take inventory of your own life and figure out what it is that, that is kind of superficial and plastic in your life and, and figure out how to change that so that you can come from a more authentic place of love and gratitude and, and purpose, you know, living your purpose. Now, the last rune we have for you is Iwas, and this is all about, you know, defense and avertive powers, okay? So if there are obstacles and delays in your life, just know this is divine timing right now. Um, the obstacles and delays are there for a reason, even though they're frustrating. You may not understand why they're there now, but it will be revealed to you in, in due time. And just know that they're there for a reason. It's divine timing and they will be released from your path when the time is right for your greatest and highest good as well as when the time is right for other people in your life because it is like a domino effect. So other people in your life are going to be affected by whatever this obstacle is that gets released from you because whatever, when, whenever this is released, you're going to start making new decisions and things are going to change in your life and it's going to have a domino effect and affect the people closest to you. And that's not a bad thing, but universe wants to make sure that the people who are closest to you are ready to deal with the newfound decisions that you make in your life. Do you see what I mean? So everything is in perfect order and divine timing. Um, now, this is also talking about you know, being aware, averting possible difficulties, anticipating difficulties coming up, dealing with them through, you know, right actions, and the ability to foresee consequences moving forward. The ability to foresee consequences before you make decisions to leap out into the unknown. So kind of just like, you know, definitely with the hermit, you know, take some time to understand what your options are and what the co the consequences could be from decisions that you make moving forward and understand if the consequence is you know a good thing or not and then you know make make some adjustments to so do you see what i mean so that was your reading for the month of december we're going to pull a quick witchlings card of inspiration for you for the month of december for aries what little witchlings is going to pop out for, wow, that one just flew out and landed on the floor and it turned itself right side up. So you got opportunity, Aries. Hallelujah. We haven't seen this card yet. Very lovely. The world is full of opportunities waiting to be discovered. So that I'm just feeling magical all of a sudden for you. So take this as inspiration. Again, based on the cards and the runes, whatever personal journey you're going on, you know, especially uh, embarking on going within and doing some soul searching, okay, and then releasing yourself from whatever bondage that you're going to be stuck in, making new decisions. Know that opportunity is out there for the taking. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. I love it, love it, love it. Take in this imagery. Let it wash over you. Feel the magic from it. Opportunity, opportunity. You're going to be turning over a new leaf, writing a new chapter, especially going into 2016. And um, you can change, you know, change your life and make it have, take a 180 degree turn and, you know, just really create something, a life that you want to live. 
releasing uh, old paradigms, uh, self-imposed prisons, limitations, bondage, etc., making new choices, and opening the doors to new opportunity and new magic in your life. Beautiful card. I'm excited for you. And then the last card we have for you is your angel message for the month of December. For Aries for December 2015. What angel message do you have for Aries? December 2015. Law of Attraction. Relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. How awesome is it that this card came out in relation to all of the other cards as well as um, the opportunity card that popped out for you? Law of Attraction and Opportunity. I mean, really? Really? Come on. You can't tell me that that shuffling the cards and, and the energies that this is not divine divine choice uh, coming out for you. So relationships and activities you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. This is perfect for your reading, Aries. Especially go back through and really take in this this video with your runes and your um, and your cards and the decisions that you're making, you're going within, you're taking stock of your life, you're taking inventory, you're making changes, you're breaking free from bondage. You're going to be upping your, your energy field, upping your vibration and drawing in positive, positive new opportunities for yourself, new beginnings and um, abundance and prosperity based on the good vibes that you're sending out through the law of attraction. How exciting is this? I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, Aries. Good luck to you moving forward. That was your reading for the month of December. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Feel free to leave messages below. Let me know how this is playing out for you. Um, again, don't forget that gift cards are available. Your free ebook is available. So Hit me up in the email, head on over to the website, download the ebook, come on over to Facebook. Would love to have you. Namaste, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you back here next month. Mwah. Bye.